Good day guys, my name is Lord Tomo, welcome again to another Sonic the Hedgehog Toy Item Collector Review. As you already know, my name is Lord Tomo and we have the Blue Stair, good old Sonic the Hedgehog. Does it have anything in his hat? Because he's guarding the Essential Shadow the Hedgehog exclusive statue from first four figures, as you can probably see from the box title itself. Let's throw him aside because we don't really care about him because he is not the star of the show right now. Now, before I get into the actual item, I uh, will give you just a rundown on just the packaging because I do believe this is one of the essentials in terms of collecting. They just do an absolutely superb job. They tend to basically outdo themselves as the years go by, so they are progressively getting better. What does that mean for those of you who are a bit hesitant collecting, you know, first four figures in terms of their packaging directly from their website, or whatnot? Rest assured, these guys do take, you know, 100% assurance in terms of taking care of the items. I know I'm talking a little too much about this, you can fast forward if you wish. But that means you get your standard box, pretty standard obligatory box. What they've added this time was a hard, uh, hard wooden, like, cornering on each side of the actual box as you can probably see on each side here which adds just another reinforced factor to the actual collectability of the not collectability but the, the protection of the actual item itself so if you're wondering why you're paying a little more I, I guess this is where it comes down to you know what I'd rather pay that little more knowing that my item is going to come in 100% mid condition which my one has then obviously coming damage which I'm sure they don't go out of the way to do because that's pretty kind of productive in terms of what they do so just your standard box how you receive it uh, you get your address up there of course you have your tag what it is I'm 158 out of uh, 3000 I think uh, it tells you how much it weighs this one is about six kilograms I think it's all up the packaging on the other side it's exactly the same on the other side it's exactly the same nothing to say now when you open it up for the first time you're gonna get yourself some foam which I will grab some. These firms just add, once again, another layer of protection. God, I love how these guys package it. Honestly, if eBay sellers can package it the way they do it, I will be sold. But um, enough about that. So essentially, this is meant to basically take more impact in the case that the uh, posty people decide to get a little handy dandy with your actual item, which is awesome. So that's awesome. Let's put that aside because we're done with the box. Put that aside. Alright, now let's get into the actual box itself where you first receive it. Now this is the actual box where you receive it. If you, once again, if you want to fast forward just a little bit, you can, totally up to you if you want to look at the item. I think this is part of the actual collectability of the actual item itself. And simply just by the look of it, come on guys, you have to agree with me. It does stand out, it does look superb, it is one of those item of boxes. It's one of those boxes where you just want to go, mm. it just... Uh. That's how you describe it these days. This is how this is how I describe it these days. No longer with words and descriptiveness. It's just a sound. Mm. How awesome does that look? Does that not look like it's just grabs you? So for those people who want to throw away the boxes, by all means, go ahead. It's totally up to you. This box sells me within itself. They really have the finer details. You start obligatory. Uh, kind of green hue esque sort of uh, vibe there. You have Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Shadow, Sonic the Hedgehog, to remind everybody this is part of the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. You have Shadow the Hedgehog, awesome character. Not my, a cool character. Totally not dissing him, but not my go-to guy in terms of villains. I do have other characters which I think Metal Metal so Metal Sonic is just like oh my god. He's the best villain. Anyway, you have your obligatory uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog. That's where it's going to land. First of figures logo just stands out, just screams out to you. At the very bottom, has absolutely nothing. At the very top, once again, not needed, but they just felt they just had to throw that in. Shadow of the Hedgehog. And just that overall reminiscing, sort of empowering from, from Radical Highway. This statue is more or less from the stage of Radical Highway. The first one, if I do recall, that Shadow of the Hedgehog does appear and playable in the Sonic Adventure 2 series. Little fun fact there. On the actual side, you're just having my different little pose. Pretty awesome. Small things like this, not needed, but they actually threw it in. Just to throw in a little speck. You know, you can't go wrong there. Once again, awesome. At the background, you just have obligatory sort of information in terms of who Shadow is. Well, first of all, figures. First of all, figures proud to present Shadow the Hedgehog. He stands 15 and a half inches tall. This thing is massive. You can't go wrong with that. You have Shadow the Hedgehog there. You have what makes it exclusive and my one, which is 158. On the actual side, essentially, what makes the Shadow the Hedgehog one exclusive pretty much is the fact that his base actually glows. The standard one doesn't, and you know what? Either or, it doesn't really matter. If you're a super hardcore Shadow the Hedgehog fan, go for it. The only reason I got the exclusive one is why not? It's exclusive. I, I'm kind of a stupid elitist, semi. Not an elitist, but you get what I'm saying. I'm single. Okay, I'm gonna probably get jokes right of that. But um, that's probably one of the reasons I've money to spend. Why not? Man, 
So once again, the box itself sells me. It's, it's just, you just can't go wrong. Honestly, guys, if you have an issue with this box, my God, just leave it down in the comments. I love to hear it because I don't think there is an issue with them. Let's put this aside and let's go to the next part. I know it's, this is going to take a while to get to the actual statue, but there is reasons for that because when I review these statues, I have to make recommendations. I don't, I'm not getting paid by these guys, but these guys do really go beyond the, the Call of Duty in terms of, you know, their reviews and, um, not reviews, their, their actual item itself. And they do, honestly, I, in my personal opinion, that they do understand the collector's side of views. And I'm not to say that things don't happen down the track in terms of shipping. Things might get chipped, things might, might get broken. I'm not saying, you know, they're 100%. It goes with any manufacturer, like Sony, Samsung, you name it. But they do go out of the way to assist you. Their customer service skills is top notch love that anyway so essentially you get this you get a little card you can authenticate in the website I already did it pretty awesome once again I want to show you that it's just a picture of Shadow the Hedgehog running awesome now I would this is what appears when you first take it out now <laughs> I did this is the second take I'm doing this simply because I didn't know this didn't come with batteries I'm not hating on that, I just didn't know. So I want to show you the effect of the exclusive Shadow of the Hedgehog statue, which I didn't have batteries. Now, I went out of my way and stole my remote, which has batteries, and I stole my Wii remote, which has batteries. So I get to show you guys how that looks more or less. The center base goes there. Now, I've already taken this out for the most part. Like I said, I wanted to do this in one take, obviously I couldn't. This is his first fist. Pretty awesome, pretty mad detailed. Just, just. Uh, this essentially was going to be like golden yellow, uh, kind of like a fluorescent yellow, very white. People voted it and wanted it to be golden. You know what? This is so much cooler than whatnot. You can see the, diff the two different color reds, awesome. And the final details is just the inside as well. You can't go wrong. It is impressive. His other hand, which is also pretty awesome, it's kind of like, I'm going to grab you, Sonic. That's not how it sounds like, but you can get it. Once again, Great, awesome attention to detail. Two forms of reds, pretty superb, awesome. You can't go wrong with this, and you can even shake on it. That's right, Shadow. You are handless. Shake on it. All right. The second thing is, I will show you, of course, but I'm going to put this aside just for now, just to show you the attention of details of this item. This actually comes in styrofoam, basically added more impact and more cushioning for those of you who are concerned, which is awesome. This is what makes it exclusive, ladies and gents. The base, the holy grail, that is looking because that's what we want. That is what pretty much is the hunk of the hunk. Ooh, that should have ordered that bit up. All right, let's move in because we all want to have a look at it. For those of you, like I said, for those of you who haven't played it, most of you younger generations, this is the first game you've more or less played. Two more or less, you know, getting to Sonic is Sonic Adventure 2, and this is the Radical Highway theme based. Awesome addition of detail. Look closer, you can even see the gravels engraved into it, and you can see the, the filtering and whatnot. Absolutely superb. Now, you won't be able to see as much, but you even got like little grooves here, little, little extruding little grooves. And that kind of reinforces the whole notion that it is that awesome radical hardware. At the very top, you have obviously arrows pointing one direction because that's not a reference to the One Direction <laughs> band, but at the very bottom, this thing is heavy by the way guys, so if you ever mess around with this, be careful, you have all the obligatory information, Sonic the Hedgehog exclusive edition, Sonic Show the Hedgehog 158, impressive, and this is where you press the button as, I've got to show you first, press the button as well, at the back you have obviously his hover boots, which gives him the added speed, that's more or less comparing, so you can see how awesome that is, now, before I put everything together, I am going to remove the batteries out of yeah that's another thing if you get the exclusive version um, I'm hoping it's just mine I'm gonna hope uh, you don't get batteries with them you know I'm not really fussed about it uh, they do enough as it is I wouldn't expect them to go that extra little bit so if you're, if you're gonna complain about not gonna receiving batteries like I'm pretty sure if you're able to spend like 300 bucks on a statue you can afford you know five dollar batteries i'm just a saying all right uh, woo look at that oh my god i'm loving this already all right does it fade out how many stages does it have i'm gonna assume it fades out yeah it does fade out all right next let's put this puppy together now this bit always freaks me out for several reasons, one of which is just how small the shadow characters are. Now, I'm going to bring this as close as humanly possible, 
because oh my god like this must be extremely hard in terms of prototype there's a shadow I know it's the lightning the lying is doing no justice to it you have his mad chest you have his new arms he is the ultimate life form <sighs> awesome great awesome addition to those eyes you can really see the impacting strength of his face you cannot go wrong at the very top you have red at the very bottom he has no legs which will be connected shortly his chest is by far so well done and very so detailed you cannot go wrong there and his back like i said you can't go wrong there all spiky all great come on guys you can't go wrong even though i repeated myself like a hundred different times uh, this always scares me so 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 much always 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 you know I am so terrified about this I'm just gonna bend a few pieces of paper no. how fitting would it be if I just put this up here right, there we go because this is soft, obviously it works better on a hard base, but essentially there is Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this goes. I'm going to assume this goes. How is this meant to go exactly? Huh. Alright, that's one hand. Oh, this is looks like it's going to come out. And there's the other hand. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's essentially how he looks pretty much just standing up. Now, obviously, I'm freaking out because this is not a solid base. So, essentially, how do you go wrong with that? How can you, guys? If you're a hardcore Shadow the Hedgehog fan, look, definitely, I'm going to link their website first for figures. Buy yourself one. It doesn't really matter if you're an exclusive or traditional. This is the creme of the creme. This is what fans want. To be directly honest, first for figures, I'm not getting paid by this. This is pretty my opinion, based on my experience. Really go out of the way for service and quality, both in packaging as well as just the actual overall design. Now, as like any fans, you just wish more characters would come out. That's my only nitpick, if at all. I want more things. To be honest, if you guys are watching this, I want Dr. Robotnik. I want Dr. Eggman. I want him. How, how can you not? You have so much Sonic character, but you don't have the most villainous character. That really gets me. But that's the actual item. Now, as course, per the note, let's put on the actual special effects. Let's turn off the lights. And let's have a fanism. Now, I wish I had a better camera. Essentially what you have is you have four parts of the actual boots. You have the two bottom halves, which are both the fl flaming spikes, and the two top halves, which is also the flaming spikes. Now they do intermittently basically blink on either side, which is awesome. You can't, I'm gonna see if the lights on. Oh, there we go, that's even better. You can see how the top halves blink, and then you have the bottom halves blink. This is to insinuate if anybody's played Sonic Adventure 2, even the newer games, not so much the newer games, but especially the Sonic Adventure, um, how his spikes more or less generates well generates that and it's ah oh, I love this so much I really do guys it's just brings a tear to my eye well there guys that is the Shadow the Hedgehog exclusive statue I cannot speak more highly than this than ever before they have released a new diorama effect which is the uh, Sonic Generations both classic Sonic and monosonic um, which is going to be awesome I can't wait for that when that comes out um, my two cents worth of, I guess, info on this, definitely worth a catch if you're a Shadow the Hedgehog fan. I have no issue with this. This is going to look awesome on display piece, and it's definitely going to bring an eyebrow for my friends when they come and check it out, which is awesome. How much did it cost me? I think this cost me roughly about 340 I'm just going to check their website because, you know, that's what we do here. Oh, okay. It's limited to click the printer now the regular is limited okay then is this the exclusive okay the exclusive is limited to 600 pieces worldwide highly collectible and it costs roughly three hundred dollars thereabouts which you know up you can't go wrong there right it's it's yeah it is what it is right it's it's 
I can't, you can't go wrong. Highly collectible, the regular one, the normal one is about limited to 1,600. This one's limited to 600. Extremely rare, but you know what? It's it's definitely worth it. Now, in terms of rarity, I don't know how much stock they have, so I'm just gonna say this one start of 10, not to say that it isn't gonna be rare in the future, it's just, you know, it's just been released. I just got it this morning in the post office, and I was like, oh, should I call for late for work? Should I really call late for work? So, obviously I couldn't, because bills and adulthood is what is drives this world. Anyway, guys, yeah, so, in terms of how awesome this is, come on, it's definitely a 10 out of 10. You can't go wrong there. Rarity, one out of 10 stars, simply because it just came out. In terms of prices, you get 350 thereabouts. Obviously, it depends where you buy, if you do it directly from Fast Figures or not. And uh, yeah, well, guys, tell me what you think of this. If you like it, you hate it, you dislike it, what would you recommend? Better yet, what characters would you like to see be made? Me personally, Dr. Robotic. I could have the classic and I could have the modern Dr. Eggman. You cannot go wrong. And I wouldn't mind seeing various incarnations of Metal Sonic. He has appeared in various different forms, especially if you if you played Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which isn't uh, it's more classic Silver Sonic, not exactly Metal Sonic. But I would love to see that. Um, I would love to see the incarnation of Metal Sonic in the Sonic Hero saga. Definitely worth it. And I know I'm just throwing stuff out there. I would love to see Bad Nicks. I need to see more Bad Nicks. Come on, guys. If you're going to make Dara, Dara effects, you're going to have more Bad Nicks. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking this review. Leave your comments, leave your likes, leave your dislikes. Tell me what you think. I'd, I'd honestly love your opinion on this. It's definitely worth its price in gold. Is that even a saying? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Speed on and take care and let me know.